Hi, this is Energy Investment Analysis lesson is on sensitivity analysis. So, sensitivity analysis is really the question you want to answer that, what if our assumptions for our life cycle cost analysis are not right? Or what if they change for some reason? And you could see that this being the case all over the place, especially if your assumption is gasoline price or something really volatile like that. So what we don't want to do is just throw up our hands and say we give up because we can't take this into account. We want to figure out a smart way to take this into account. So that's what sensitivity analysis is. So this is just an example from um, from the FEMP manual. And this is the net savings in um, thousands of dollars and the variation in PV electricity cost. So you can sort of see that at this is, means there's no variation, so this was their baseline assumption of electricity cost. If electricity cost went down, um, then the net savings of this energy saving HVLC, HVAC alternative went, went up. So that's sort of the idea, um, is that we have a variation, we vary a variable, and it, mo and it modifies the net savings of a project. So um, we have to learn how to build a sensitivity analysis like the one above. The first thing we need to do is we need to calculate the percent change. So this is the percent variation, the percent change, same, same thing. So this is the formula for percent change, and it's the change value minus the current value divided by the current value times 100%. So let's just do a couple examples just so you get used to this. So if I go from $4 a gallon for gasoline to six dollars a gallon, what's the percent change? So it's six minus four, so the change value is six, the current value is four, and so that percent change is fifty percent. And same thing for this one, the, here we're going down, so there is a negative number on the top, we're, so we get a negative twenty-five percent here. Okay, So that's how you calculate percent change. So now if, if I want a percent change of minus 40% and my current value is $4 a gallon, what's my change value? So we start with the formula, but then we can change it around a little bit. And really we can even change this a little bit more. Um, I, I kept it in this way to do the example, but we could pull out the current value. And so this would be 1 plus the percent change times the current value. And that's what we'll do in our Excel example. You'll see that. But really, um, this is how you do it. So this is the formula simplification I was talking about here. So now we have a chart like this. And this is the sensitivity analysis of three different light bulbs, similar to what we've been doing the whole course. And this sensitivity analysis chart is we're going to change the LED bulb wattage. So if we change the LED bulb wattage, um, that's only going to affect the LED line. And you can see that from the orange line is straight across, which is the CFL, and the blue line is straight across. So a change in the LED bulb wattage, a percent change in the LED bulb wattage, isn't going to affect those two lines. It's just going to affect the net present value of the gray line, which is the LED. And as you see, as the wattage goes up, the net present value also increases for um, the LED. So what does that mean? Well, the big thing here is we always want the um, this net present value as a cost, and we always want the cost to be the, um, the least. So what we do here is we say if the LED bulb wattage was down at this 40% range, um, then we would go with the LED because it's the cheapest option here. It's the closest to zero. So the least amount of money coming out of our pocket. And if we go to this 40%, we would go with the CFL because um, that is the least amount of money coming out of our pocket. So right around this minus 20% wattage is where they cross over. So that's an important point as to where um, you would switch over from your decision of going for the CFL over the LED. So that's the idea behind these sensitivity analyses. So the big question is, 
um, how do we make this chart? So I'm going to show you in Excel, and it's something called What If Data Analysis. So what we're going to do is actually I'm going to get rid of this first. I'm going to get rid of this as well. So you have access to this sheet. It's on the next slide, um, the following slide that I haven't gone over yet. And I actually did some steps here. So these are actually two other sensitivity analyses I've made. But let me just show you how to read these things. So we have our percent change. In this case, I'm just going from negative 40% to 40%. But you could choose a wider range or a smaller range for your sensitivity analyses. Um, and then the next thing is usually the x-axis variable of what you want to change. So in this case, it's the LED wattage. My original LED wattage that I've assumed up here is um, 10 watts. So, so that's the idea here. So, and then what you have to do is you have to put your objective values right here. So your objective values in this case is the MPV of the three bulbs, and that's what appears here. So let's look. The first thing you want to do is create the percent change row, which we did. Calculate the values using 1 plus percent change times the current value. Remember, that was the formula um, we used. So 1 plus the percent change times the LED, the current LED wattage, which is up here. And we want to make that an absolute reference. Click that all the way down. Perfect. So this is the big step that everyone misses. So listen up. The big step that everyone misses is right here. So what you want to do is you want to copy, so control C, or you can right click copy, and you want to paste as values. Um, I don't really want to get into exactly why you have to do that, but that's, that's what you want to do in this case. Okay, so then the next part is um, you create cell references to your objective values. So if you can see, this is G13, this is the NPV with escalation of the incandescent bulb. So that's why that equals that. And then same thing with the CAFL and the LED. So, great. And then select the whole table and this, see this red box for reference and click on data, what if data table. So that's what we're going to do. So data, what if data table. You leave the row input cell blank. In the column input cell, you put um, the LED wattage. So what this what if data table is saying is tell me what these top values would be if I change the LED wattage to each of these values. And you can see the incandescent and the CFL stay the same all the time and the LED is the one that changes. And you can also see that it's right around 20% where these two cross over each other. So um, that's basically it for the sensitivity um, analysis. You obviously can make a chart from, from that, uh, from those three things, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So here's the link for the completed Excel sheet that you can go to to see what we did there. And have fun with sensitivity analysis. Thanks for watching.